Don't tempt us. I've had this terrible pain Don't tempt us. all day and I just can't. <sighs> anyway. Well, we got a, the baby as nasty as it can be and we got to give it a shower today. <laughs> a baby shower? I yep. never thought I'd be in on it. You know, where I came from, they we had to have those things about every week. All the little ladies would get together yeah, and have and a baby shower. they get up in shower. those hollers and that's all they got to do is... Well, <laughs> You've make, never seen you know. so much junk exchanged in your life. Uh -huh. <laughs> Poor babies. Just give it around. Yeah, never well. Never use any of it. Welcome. This is our baby shower. We're going to be pre I'm presenting, I guess, little items that you could eat at a baby that's shower. That's right. So. People are always looking for some kind of good little goody to serve when they're honoring the prospective uh, infant that is coming uh, from the parents of whoever or whatever. Johnson, you sound a little nasally today. Have you uh, uh, got a cold or something? I have been very ill, very, very <laughs> ill. I've been sick as a big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Horrible sick. You know what I'm going to make today? Well, I'm afraid you're going to tell us whether we guess or not. Pecan digits. Oh, pecan, pecan digits. Pecan fangers. These are called pecan fangers. And they came from Melissa Woodard of Jonesboro, Arkansas. And I'm making Mississippi mud cookies, and she made, she turned in both recipes, and they look so good, we're doing them both. I'm going to start mine first because what I have to do is get this in the oven, being that I didn't do any real fake ones before I came in today because I was a little lazy last night and I went home, had a nice little dinner, watched a little TV, read a book, went to bed. So anyway, I didn't get to do anything last night, so I got to do it first because otherwise we'll be eating raw ones. At Wouldn't the be the first time. One cup of Bisquick, quarter cup of soft margarine, half a stick, we just figured that out, quarter cup of chopped pecans, Give or take a few. A uh, tablespoon of sugar. You put all the dry stuff in first, all right? Just regular old sugar. And then we'll, a couple of minutes we'll be adding an almond extract and a, a three tablespoons of boiling water. I have some water boiling on here right now. Right now I'm just gonna work this in, this, this margarine into this mess. I probably ought to work it in with my with my bare hands, don't you think? That's what God gave them to you for. No, God didn't give me my hands to do this. But anyway, you go on ahead. You got something for well, us? Well, yeah, we got this letter that uh -oh. came in uh -oh. uh, from this uh, guy here in Roanoke, Virginia, where we do this show. <laughs> yeah. And it was addressed to our uh, director, Carol Jennings. Oh, that's said, always serious, you know, from, when they do that. From this uh, guy named Jim, and we want to read it so all of you can write to Jim and care of the station. Here. We'll be giving his address later on, his home phone number. This letter says, Dear Ms. Jennings, having just moved into the Roanoke area, I turned on Cook and Cheap this past Saturday. Now I have a good reason to move back to Pennsylvania. Oh, my heavens. Sincerely yours, Jim, and I won't give his last yes, name because we don't want you to go over and <laughs> slice up his tires or anything. But uh, <laughs> if you'd like to communicate with Jim, um, besides, you know, the obvious of why don't you go on back to Pennsylvania where you came from, uh, <laughs> you can write to us at, at the same number that comes up on the end of the show here today. So, we, Jim, you're a sweetheart, baby. But let me tell you uh, something, Jim. <laughs> We're on in all 50 states. You can see us everywhere by satellite. So you can run, Jim boy, but you can't hide. <laughs> <laughs> Three t boiling tablespoons of water. And at this point, you've got to add some almond extract. And uh, just about a half a teaspoon of almond extract goes oh. in. <laughs> Whoops! Oh no, we're gonna we got a heavy load we're of that. Taste like we? a cake of soap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that almond extract. And mm. now what you're supposed to do, it says, with three tablespoons, which is all I put in here, it says you're supposed to mix this around until the sides of the bowl come clean. <laughs> the sides <laughs> of this bowl ain't never gonna come clean. I gotta add a little more bisquick to uh -huh. this thing. I think that that's uh, erroneous. I'm gonna put just a little bit more in because it's got to form a ball. So if you do what I just did, boys and girls, you gotta put just a little more bisquick in there, all right? Until it gets into the ball stage. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll work that around. Woo, that stuff is coming on strong. Anyway, well, it's gonna take more than that. Well, it's, it's off the sides, but let me put just a little tad more in there, all right? And we'll be all right. What do you got? Well, I just want to show this. Is there no end mail. to this? No. This is a picture from Sandra Bove of San Diego, California. 
And that is her cat, Mai Tai, with uh, her two pet ducks who are named Laban and Larry. <laughs> and the cat is laying there with the ducks. Uh, we do like to get all of our mail in when we can, when we got some time, like we do now since Larry's having difficulty with his recipe, which no, can I'm be not. done by any three-year-old. No, right. I'm, not. Right. I'm not. Now we got to roll these into fingers. <coughs> How do I do that? I guess with my bare hands. Uh-huh. I'm just going to put a little of that on the outside so it doesn't stick to me. And I just well, just knead it a little bit. I, I am. I'm just kneading it out. You want to start yours while no, I knead? I just want to watch you oh, make a complete okay. fool well, out of I'm just going to keep kneading this Ooh. around. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to cut that in half so I don't run out of space. And you just kind of keep rolling these things out. These things are supposed to make two dozen of these things. I'll be here until next week. But as you can see, they are rolling out real pretty. Real pretty. <laughs> I knew this was good. You know, when I do recipes like this at home, yeah. that's when somebody calls me on the telephone. When you get your hands and all <laughs> yeah, that stuff. Uh -huh. Well, that's all right. I'm, I'm just rolling it out thinner and thinner and thinner. These are supposed to be fingers. Is that the size of a finger? I guess it is. That's if fairly you got close. fat fingers. Well, I do. I have real <laughs> chubby fingers. All right. How far should I go with this? She says it's fine. Okay. My associate. Uh, and let's see, what you're supposed to do now is you cut these things two and a half inches long. Have you got a ruler? Yeah. Well, that's close enough. That's close that's enough. That's about two and a half. And put it on a baking sheet. That's good sheet. enough for uh, culinary work. You put it on an <laughs> ungreased baking sheet and you heat up your oven to 350 degrees. We've heated ours to 500 because it may never get to 350. <laughs> And you will bake these things for 10 to 12 minutes. And then while they're warm, you take them out of there and you roll them in some sh uh, just regular old granulated sugar. I bet powdered would be real nice too, but it says granulated sugar. So I, you know, I like to do exactly what the recipes say I should do. I don't want to set a bad <laughs> example on this program. <laughs> That will be the first and only time that he has gone by the recipe. <laughs> well, I've still rolled these fingers out, and we'll be doing so for at least another two hours. So, Laban, take her away. All right. Well, to start out on these Mississippi mud cookies, uh, what you need to do is, uh, oh, the long arm of Maureen has reached out and put a windscreen on Bly's mic, I Reach swear. Reach out and windscreen somebody. Well, anyway, there's a, a whole stick of margarine in my pan here. And to it, I'm going to turn the heat up now, uh, right smart. I'm going to add two cups of sugar that had been previously measured. And one uh, half cup of milk. This is really kind of therapeutic rolling this stuff well, out. Well, it is. Well, and you know, I know all of your friends and cohorts at work are going to be delighted that you're doing I'm it just too, so. working out my anxieties uh -huh. here rolling these fingers out. And That's your more like a pecan thumb that one is, but anyway, still going at it here. What are you making, Johnson? I wasn't paying attention. Mississippi mud cookies. Oh yes, and they are now, good. Yes, and now I've got to add to this four tablespoons of coca powder. There's one. I got this dough at the right consistency. Two. Three, four. Now what you have to do is you kind of have to stir and play around with this, mess with it, and you got to get it coming to a fiery hot boil that you can't even stir down. And when it's that, then you're going to add everything else that's called for in the recipe. And you have to just kind of stir this so that coca powder gets all mixed in real good with this other stuff. Okay, Johnson, here they go. I'm going to take these things, these fingers. Oh, one of my fingers slipped away from me there. <laughs> I won't tell you which one. And I'm going to put that in the oven. Is it that was, one of these? It was, aimed, <laughs> it was aimed at that camera right there. Now I'm going to put it in here for about 10 to 15 minutes and hope and pray that it's okay mm -hmm. when I need it. And then we'll roll it in granulated sugar and eat them. Oh boy, that's that. oh boy, oh boy. All right, this now, is a baby shower. Do you know anybody that's uh, gonna have a baby here on the staff? Cause I have some extra boiling water left. I, I anyway. do, but you know, they haven't announced it to anybody <laughs> yet. <laughs> and uh, hardly been wed. I know there's several, well, uh. <clears throat> there's several people around here that look real nervous about it too. <laughs> But we won't get into that because we don't want people to have a bad thought about us here on TV. 
You know, maybe we, while we're waiting for this pot of stuff to boil here, that maybe we could bring in the sisters LeCook. Uh, to, Are those uh, old fools yes, here today? Yes, they're here today. They're going to talk to us and give us some news and tell us about another one of those old-fashioned instruments oh. that is, have wisely been relegated to the museum. Yes. Where the sisters are. Hmm. Wake up and smell the violets there, toots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you remember this? Oh, I remember when you put my nose in that one time when I was a kid. Oh, I know. We used to hurt each other so much. I it, could wear a little bit of pinchy uh -huh. glasses for months. This is actually Uncle William's uh, diddling thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, no, what, don't you remember? We used to use this and Granddaddy'd put a big old nut in here uh -huh. during the holidays and he could just turn it around and, and pretty soon that, that thing, thing. go bang! And the nut meats would fly everywhere. I remember, put out the cat's eye. Uh huh. Never it was terrible. Oh, it was well, awful. oh, it's so much fun to think about the good old days. Uh, uh huh. Uh, I'm Sister Cook. I've had enough. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook sisters. sisters. It's Uncle Henry's wine. Uh, well, well diddling thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now my pot. I think Tootsie got right tickled about uh -huh. that. It's one of the few times I've ever seen the old gal laugh. All right, now this stuff is boiling and oh, you're right, it I'm is. I'm trying to get it to stir down, but you know, it, maybe it won't you, stir down. Maybe if you stuck oh, your no. snoop down now in there, you get Now it's got to boil for 60 seconds. So let's. Uh, maybe if you I'll, stuck your snoot down in there, you get rid of your. Time cold. it here on my watch. I swear I can't get a sentence out. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back here. Well. That's just perfect. Or you could get over here in this corner, no, no, too. That's all right. I'll just stand here. I finished. <laughs> I'm going on. Uh -huh. I'm heading home. Oh, look at this stuff. Now, but you do have to let it come to a good old rolling, hot, fiery boil for at least 60 seconds before you go on and add the rest of this stuff. I hope you're timing this stuff on me, are you? Good, because I, I forgot to look at the clock to see what time I put it in. Always do that, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important. Doris, should I put everything in here or just, just add it in the pan? Good heavens, getting to the point where we're just incapable of doing anything without Doris telling us what to do. I ask her stuff, he asks her stuff. Doris, can I go home after this show? No, you have to stay after school and okay, say, I will not be a smart boy. <laughs> oh, it's all right, now it's gone for the whole time. Now I've got to add to it the oh. other things. All right, take two. your time. Oh, wait a minute. This is supposed to be two and a half cups of oats. Well, I don't have a two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> wait a minute. Let me get over here just a second. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. This will clean us out real me. good. I got some oat <laughs> bran. Oh, no. Oh. So let me just add a half a cup of oats. Tell oat. me I don't have to eat these things. Oh, you do. It'd be good for you. Make it much well, better. Well, how come you only had two cups? Did you use them? I'm using stuff up from home. Oh, I see. I bet you're charging the station for no, it, too, aren't I you? No, I didn't turn anything. I oh. don't do things like that. <laughs> I don't like to cast uh. asparagus, but... <laughs> I don't know anybody to do anything like that, either. Don't forget yeah. your peanut butter, so right. it'll melt. Yeah, i got to have a half a cup of peanut butter. <laughs> um. uh. <laughs> Excuse me, I've lost the lid here. I want to make sure I'm ready to go when this is over. <laughs> With all that brand in there, I may need to. All right. <laughs> and I gotta have two. Oh, oh wimpy no. wrist, wimpy wrist. Where is it? Here, I'll Where get is it. your thing? Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. One single. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. How long have you had this around the old house, Laban? It was in our cabinet. Yeah. All right. There it is. Thank you. Mm. Two teaspoons of vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some of that was given to us by that big company. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I've added my... Oh, I just found something I left here last week. I need that very badly. I could have used it this weekend. <laughs> Oh, is it thick enough, Laban? Is that as thick as it's supposed to be? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it sets up real nice. Sure, yeah. Well, maybe I need to put some more oat bran in it. It looks a little runny to me. 
But I got to tell you, it is good stuff. We did try some of it before the show. Mm. And now, how much does this make? Oh, the greatest of plenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it never sets up. I remember one time when, when Tootsie at home made some homemade fudge and it never set up and we just kind of took our fingers and, and just kind of, mm -hmm. you know, took it out of the bowl. You're supposed to use quick cooking oats. Yeah. And I yeah. use cooking oats. <laughs> well, they do. You got look a couple of more letters? Uh, yeah. Well, no, we're just I, laughing I, about I, the fact that time's <laughs> fun when you're having flies. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, we ought to show the recipes. Let's do that. Real slow now, so everybody gets them. They're at home. <laughs> oh, the Mississippi mud cookies. Two uh, cups of sugar, half a cup of milk, quarter so pound of margarine, four, four tablespoons four. of coca, two and a half cups of quick oats. <laughs> two teaspoons of vanilla. One slash two, two. Yeah. cup. Peanut butter. Well, there shouldn't be any complaints about that. The pecan fingers, sent in by the very lovely and semi-voluptuous Melissa Woodard of Jonesboro, Arkansas, a wonderful place to be from, the Chamber of Commerce tells me. Uh, I have a brochure here, uh, but we can't show it while this is up. But I tell you, they make good stuff with Bisquick down there. One cup of Bisquick, quarter of a cup of soft margarine, quarter of a cup of chopped pecans. You know, you can get them pre-chopped in the store if you don't oh, want to chop can. them at home. <laughs> they, they package those broken up with a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of almond extract, give or take a few in my case, three tablespoons of boiling water. It'd be a little easy on that because you can overdo it real quickly if you're not careful, just like I did, but I knew how to save myself once I'd done it. What, what are you reading? Well, I just want to show, I, some people ask us about those white baking sheets that we've been using. They're from Plain Jane in Lynchburg, Virginia, hmm. down in Falwell Land. Well, I'll swan it. And they're uh, porcelain enamel on steel. Did he get paid steel. for that? No, no, people just ask. And, and you know, on the, I've been noticing I never the, got paid for that. You didn't? No. You mean I kept all that money? <laughs> okay. Well, say la vie. Well, how? Oh, I noticed kidding. that you. I noticed you're driving that. No, new, no, no, wait, no, 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 they're I, lying. I noticed that you're driving that new porcelain car. <laughs> ah, but anyway, uh -huh. no, they're not uh, lying. You Laban. mean we've really got that much time yeah, left? Don't you have some more letters oh, you'd yeah, like to I share do. with us? As a matter of fact, I do. Lots of letters. Maybe we should show those recipes again. I don't know. <laughs> no. I sort of like the typeface. I thought it was a real nice. A little drop shadow. It was real nice the way. You From know, Max. What? Meadows, Virginia. I remember Max. Uh-huh. Says one thing on here. What? I love uh, lentils. lentils. Hey, there is somebody that likes lentils. You and your mama. <laughs> All right. Here, you, can re that? you read that How one. about that? Are you sure I should? I mean, just going on the air without reading these in advance. Mabel Goglin of Madison, Wisconsin. Right, Steer, Laban, and Larry, I enjoy your show and your wonderful sense of humor. Keep up the good work. I like your recipes. Also have your Cooking Cheap Cookbook, which is available, by the way. I noticed that you don't use a lot of salt. That is good, as obviously she has watched you cook, as I don't use salt. I'll be waiting for your next show, so keep up the good work. Take care. Mabel, we love you, darling. How much longer do I have on this stuff in the oven? Now here's you listen. don't know. <laughs> what does she do? What? Her Herminia her, her Farrell. Oh, they're perfect. Herminia Farrell of Pima, Arizona. Pima, Arizona mm -hmm. wrote, and she said, "Can yeah. you please send the rest of recipe on apple and carrot salad?" And she sent us the notes here that she had made, <laughs> <laughs> and she definitely did not get it all down. So uh, we, we'll send that right out to her. Bless her heart. She's. Well, these fingers are real pretty. Are they? Now, what you're supposed oh. to do after you take the fingers out, and that's the way they look right there, is you're supposed to roll them in sugar. How can you roll them if they're red hot? That's what I'd like to know. So I'm going to take a little granulated sugar and just, do you, are they, well, nothing would, oh, mm. oh. Did you burn yourself? A little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to sprinkle a little on it. Oh, no, not salt. <laughs> 
Well, look, it's not even sticking to it. How could how could you get granulated sugar to stick to it if it won't stick to it? <laughs> well, this is the darndest thing. Maybe it went a little long, huh, Doris? The keeper of the timer. Oven's too hot. Well, we knew that. <laughs> it's either too hot or it's not. Well, what I'm doing is I'm just sprinkling some on each one, just a little bit. And just, well, they do look real pretty. And then take them and diddle them around like that, and you get some on the bottom, you see. That's what I'm going Because they're hot. I can't touch them. They're hot. But anyway. They're swearing that we still have five no, minutes No, that couldn't go. be possible. We have been on this show for two hours today. I know it. I feel like I've been here for half of my adult life. Yeah, well, I'm just, uh, let's just watch me have fun with these. See, that way you get them on the top and the bottom. Oh. See, if these have gone just a little bit long, they're supposed to be a little pliable so you can roll them around in the sugar. Although I still don't understand who'd want to roll them around if they're burning hot, which these are. Boy, these little uh, Mississippi mud cookies are doing real good. We're going to change the name of these from pecan fingers to burned fingers. While warm. <laughs> well, that's all right. I, I need you, something to do. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to tell you one thing. What? These uh, Mississippi mud cookies, I have a feeling, are going to prove to be a very moving experience later on tonight. <laughs> okay. Mm, well, mm. you may want to I sprinkle a little that on there, too. up to Mama in the nursing home. I'm going to take these off and put them on a plate now. I think they've had the proper time to burn me to crisp, my poor fingers. Well, look, that's real pretty, though. The, uh -huh. the sugar is uh, melting me. right onto it, well, fusing it's, onto your it fingers. It has stuck right to the top of it. It's beautiful. Do it's we a have any milk of in here? To... Oh, me. Well, and they're still red hot, too, I want to tell you, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. But the sugar does stick to them real nice. So perhaps we did okay. I don't know. We'll Perhaps. see. Perhaps. We'll see. You going to try one here? Is that what no, you're moving in for? No, I'm just looking. Let's go on over to the to the place. Well, now, I don't want to leave a single one. <laughs> I still have 16 more to put on here. Oh, oh uh, don't we want to check on our witch? witch? Oh, witch. Winky, winky. That witch. Come on in here. I swear this cold, this head cold's got him down. He can't remember anything. There she goes. 3D. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to snap for her. 3D. <laughs> oh, you old witch. You look more and more like Bly every day. All right. Mm. Dear Laban and Lair, yeah, we're up. having some other couples from church over for a slumber party next oh, week. Oh, great. Mm. What can we serve? Last time we did this, Marion, Marvin, and Ramona did some kind of garlic sauce on pasta. Their divorce will be final in May. <laughs> Wish you could join us, Cece and Bud Burford. Cece. Uh huh. Well, all right. So I guess next week we got to do slumber party food. Oh, okay. Stuff you can eat in bed. In bed. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh. Well, I'm going to take these little pecan fingers yeah, we over were, here. We I'll thinking. be honest with you, I don't taste much pecan in these fingers. I think I got too much finger and not enough pecan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Here, have some of these, Laban. Boy. Well, here, mm -hmm. have one of these delicious mm -hmm. Mississippi mud. Thank you. Well, they are real pretty. He got the ones at home right. Those are perfect. Mmm. I love them. Love them. Mm. You like them? I think we've prepared two good little things. They're here. very interesting. They maybe have just a little bit too much extract in them. <laughs> <laughs> what kind was it? Almond? Mm. Yeah, just a little, a little heavy on that. Other than that, they're delicious. Got a very nice consistency to them. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think they have just the right amount of almond extract in them. Well, you would. I like it a little heavy myself. Mm -hmm. These are excellent. I have nothing bad to say about his recipe today. Oh, in the air. You should have heard him talking. <laughs> oh, they're giving us all those. <laughs> You're not giving me the one I want. <laughs> the time cues. <laughs> I'd take that one to what you're giving me now, Jim. But anyway. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for your letters, ladies and gentlemen. If it hadn't have been for them, <laughs> we'd ended this show 20 minutes ago. <laughs> we do once in a while, and I should mm -hmm. explain, once in a while we do have some short recipes. Right, and these shows are not rehearsed. That's right, you can tell that. I mean, I mean, you can tell that. 
to your friends. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye and get out. <laughs>